Recently, life has been a lot. Sitting final year uni exams and submitting coursework after being in a pandemic for a year is a lot. Finding the motivation to get out of bed, to walk to my desk, to sit down and write thousands of words a day is a lot. I felt like I was somewhat losing it for the last few weeks. The only thing I have wanted to do was to pick up my camera and go for an adventure. Finally, enough was enough. I needed to breathe some cleaner air, so we hopped in the car and drove 40 minutes east to Brecon Beacons to seek out some waterfalls. Do you know how we get the waterfalls from here? We parked in the Cumporth car park and checked out the different routes we could take. The main one is a 4.5 mile circular route which allows you to see all four waterfalls. At the entrance to the walk we decided to take an alternative part of the cave's entrance. We then checked out the largest cave entrance in Wales. Also I just want to add here that we fully understand that caves can be super dangerous so we didn't head in and only peeked at the entrance. I'm scary <laughs> and claustrophobic down there. People crawl in and along. It would have to be one for the bucket list, definitely. Should we come back in the summer and do it? Yeah. We then headed round to the exit of the cave, which I'm pretty sure was a slice of heaven. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is really? Let me know in the comments if you would swim in a cave pool like this. I think I would, but it's really eerie. Look. After the cave, it was time to start the walk, which unsurprisingly was rated as Britain's 40th favourite walk. We also saw these two beautiful birds, which upon later research we found out to be goose under, a variety of duck with saw-like teeth. After a very needed dip in the icy waterfall, we shared a flask of coffee before the last stretch of the walk. See? Oh, look, they're just sunbathing there. It's so nice.
No idea, we're just following this really steep path. It's pretty though. As we neared the car park we saw these rocks all piled up and upon further inspection we noticed there were actually really deep wells. There's a lot of cold air coming up. Yeah. <gasps> That's really far down. If you fell down there you'd be really stuck. You can't hear any running water though. No. It's... That's crazy that's just there. Yeah. Nope. I suppose I've got something there being like, don't. If you have a dog make sure to be careful around this end part of the walk. The other version of mine. Looks like they're camping in the back of theirs too. It was then time to head home. I later checked online about the waterfalls and saw these photos from a winter with high waters. It looked like a different place entirely. Thanks so much for watching and I promise my usual videos will be back soon. Lots of love to everyone who is still here. See you guys next time.